And you guys have approached the main gate of the city of Koalas. And you can see this is a massive tree. So if you imagine uh, the movie Avatar, how they all live in this massive tree, that is what this is like. This tree spans hundreds and hundreds of feet up. And it's 300 feet in diameter. There is a massive closed metal uh, kind of portcullis gate that's closed on the outset of this tree. And you can see above there are these like platforms that open up. That are just holes in the tree. And you can see these Satharian individuals... Uh, standing on those platforms. They look like to be holding those same type of weapons that you saw from those other Sathari travelers that you ran into last time. They're kind of like a spear, but hollowed out in a way that they can put venom and poisons inside. And they all begin to, two of them, kind of look at you suspiciously as you guys are approaching. Uh, halt! Uh, uh, state your names and business and call us, please. Don't Hi, all, don't Tizo. all speak at once. <laughs> my name is Tizo. Uh, hello, my name is Yeska. Pleasure to meet you. That one's speaking with its mouth full. <laughs> Nico, we're guests here. Please swallow first. <laughs> Trail rations are pretty dry, aren't they? <laughs> ah, he's... The, uh, the name's Nico. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, what brings you to Koalas? Well, we were looking for supplies, uh, for our trip back to, uh, our own planet. And, uh, this was the nearest, uh, village that we heard of. So we've been making our way towards the city. Excellent, Tizo. I'd like you to make a vigilance check for me, please. Okay. Um, uh, this is going to be contested uh, against... Uh, the difficulty is going to be two purple dice. Two purple? Okay. Two purple. Vigilance? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, that tracks. I'm not a good... I'm not a, yeah. Uh, we do have but technically he's not lying. Um, where is it that you're coming from? Oh god, what's that planet called? Oh. Uh, <laughs> what is that planet called? I forgot what our planet was it's called. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's here is our planet. <laughs> I tell it's him it. what planet we're from. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Spin tier, uh, the guards oh, kind right, of look at yeah, each yeah. other. One's, one's like, yeah. well, you can see him like, have you ever heard of it? Uh, not really, to be honest. The galaxy I mean, is a big place, my friend. It's just it, a is, it is, it is, it is. very far away. Uh, we do. We just visit us here. We would, like, we would like to tour your beautiful city. It's amazing big tree. We do have supplies. Uh, just, just hold, hold one, one moment, and you see one of them kind of just stand no there, problem. and another one kind of disappear into the into the tree. Um, and it takes a few minutes, but then all of a sudden you see the this massive metal uh, portcullis start to rise, and you can hear it just raising up. Um, and you can see a few of the guards kind of step out, and they just kind of gesture towards you, give you like a little bow, and they say, "Uh." Welcome to Quas. Please enter. Thank you. Your hospitality. I imagine that in the the minute or two that it would have taken, Yeska would have tried to uh, kind of buddy up to the the remaining guards and like slap them on the shoulder uh, as he enters. Like, hey, see you later. Hey, drinks are on me next time. <laughs> You guys are making your way inside, and uh, as you do, the almost the entirety of the inside of this tree has been hollowed out. 
and it is vast. You look straight up, and this city is more vertical than it is horizontal. Imagine like, <laughs> this is a terrible example, but imagine like a, uh, a food court in a mall. Uh, <laughs> and, and you can just see all the hustle and bustle, and you look up and there's hustle and bustle above you. You can see rope ladders. You can see bridges as high up into this tree inside as you, as you, can, as you can look. Uh, you can see buildings kind of carved into the sides of the interior of the tree. You can see some are just hanging down from areas just built with like bark thatch, like wrapped all around. You can see several other places. Uh, there's looks like over to your right is some type of shop, some type of store. Uh, you can see ahead of you is some type of almost like uh, there's a fence and there's those Tarvixes inside a fence that you guys remember those uh, villagers riding on the back of when you ran into in the forest. Uh, there's some of them. It looks as if this place, like, rents them out or something like that. Um, there's another place. It's kind of like a temple over to your left. And there's a massive amount of people here. Uh, people, I mean, Sitharian people. They're all bird-like with different colored feathers. Um, beaks upon their faces. And it looks like they're all just kind of going about their business. Um, what would you guys like to do? I'm going to look for a Cinnabon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we're at the food it's court. That way. Like... <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, it's that way. <laughs> Easy to find. Yeah, there seems, ship, please. <laughs> there seems to be a shop that's selling uh, some some baked goods, some, some pastries. Um, yeah. So you, you could pick up a few pastries if you'd like. Uh, they're not the greatest uh, due to the limited ingredients. Um, yeah. We'll just take a look um, and say no thank you. Okay. It does, yeah, it doesn't smell all that great whenever you get closer. Unless it's there's like, any free samples. If it was a cinnamon, <laughs> though, <laughs> we'd be broke as fuck. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, uh, Jessica, do me a favor, though. I would like you to make a perception check for me. And okay. the difficulty on this is only going to be one purple die. One purple. Mm -hmm. You said a perception. All right. Coming yep. down the pike. Okay. Very good. Um, so, the success. As you are looking through this bakery... You notice that the individual, the Sitharian behind the counter, uh, does everything that she can to avoid eye contact with you. And there's this strange cold wall, social barrier that she has built. The two advantages also tell you um, that there are currently two guards that are enjoying some pastries at a table, wooden table over in the corner. And she is very uncomfortable having them in the bakery. Okay. I'm gonna go over to those guards. <laughs> Okay, okay. I imagine you guys are all in the bakery as well, so you guys are all yeah. all present. As all I, think, I think Raven is literally standing just outside the door. Like, she's not going in. Not going in? Okay, gotcha. She's kind of just, like, perceiving... You can't, can't fit okay. any of those pies into that helmet. Ra <laughs> yeah, no. I, <laughs> yeah. Right. Raven, I you... Gotta, uh, yeah. Raven, uh, you may also make a perception check against one purple sure. die uh, while you're outside oh, sure. looking around. Yep. And, okay. And Yeska, you walk up Nico's to these. Eating the Nico's eating potato chips. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even sell potato chips here. How'd you? <laughs> I have at least one. Um, Some sort of plant chip, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I guess uh, with one advantage, uh, you would notice that um, as you're looking around, you do notice. There is uh, an individual, a Satharian, uh, 
that is taking care of those Tarvixes over there uh, that are fenced in. And uh, you do notice that two guards come up to that individual. And it looks like there's an uncomfortable exchange happening. Like, you're still at a, quite of a distance, so you can't hear what's being said. But it's definitely like one of those things where you see a conversation off in the distance and something seems amiss. Something doesn't seem right. Uh, when you say guards, what do you mean by that? Um, you like, can what do they look like? like? They, city guards? They're, they're Sitharians, so they're bird-like well, individuals. I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, let me, they're uh, the people of this guys... planet. Yeah, yeah. Sitharians. We should, we should add a little picture of it. Yeah, if you uh, look under the folder under handouts in Roll20, there is yeah. a Abilene. Sithari um, tab. It shows you a picture of the bird-like creature. It's a little bird with a whisk. Basically, Sathari is their species, is what oh. they okay? So, okay, I got yeah. you. So when I say Satharian, I mean these bird-like people. And I'm going to put that I'm on sorry, me. I'm a Star Wars noob, thank you. No, you're good, you're good. Well, I've never even heard of these. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah this, this, is, this is something that's just... Uh, these... Something okay. in the space galaxy Aracopra. that is RPG, uh, yeah, Space Aracocra. <laughs> yep. That's so what it is. Space Aracocra. That's yeah, exactly it. Space Aracocra, but they're <laughs> and is the person that so if they're all uh, Solarian or whatever. Yeah, you don't see anyone that looks um, of any other species other than a Sathari here present Sathari. right now. Yes. I'm getting. I'm saying and Solarian, and that's Solarian. not the right one. Who <laughs> <laughs> or something? Uh, potato, tomato. <laughs> so you're you're just saying that in terms of guard presence, it's just they're like more armored and got weapons versus yeah. like yeah. the normal citizens. Yeah, they got like okay. this big slow rifle over their shoulder. Do we, do we think that they're like shoulder, a city watch and... or something? Yeah, they seem to be. Yeah. And, uh, okay, I will keep my eye on on that then. Okay. These, yeah. these kind of bird Gestapo. Yep. And okay. Jessica, you Thank approach you. these two that seem to be enjoying some type of pastry uh, in this bakery. Um, and they're just munching away as you walk uh, up. Hello. Uh, sorry, please to excuse. Uh, we, are, we are new to this to this fine city, and we're wondering if you could, you know, give us some uh, places to go and places to see. Yeah. Maybe I can buy you one of these fine pastries to, to say thank you. Uh, no thanks. Um, nearby. No thanks. We've had enough uh, right now. <laughs> you say you're new. <laughs> we couldn't tell. And uh, they, they, look tell. they look at each other. They look at you. <laughs> it's like it's about to, it's like, um, but uh, what what? Uh, why are you here? Me and my friends are traveling all around the galaxy. We, we don't. We heard don't. About this wonderful tree. We don't get very many uh, visitors from off-world. Maybe you should start. This place is very nice. You could get make a killing in tourism. Hmm. Perhaps we could uh, uh, run it by the reeve. Uh, tell me who is who is this reeve? Oh, like uh, I said, the new you have to tell me things. So Re that's how it works, eh? The Reeve is uh, Reeve Markov. <laughs> um, is there a table nearby? Yeah, absolutely. I would specifically try and sit with Tizo in front of me, just in case things got real hairy. They would attack him first. <laughs> um, but I do want to sit so I can watch <laughs> watch them in that direction. <laughs> Here, sit wow. here, so you can just be my body shield here. Okay. <laughs> Why not? I think you mean feathery. Welcome back, Derek! <laughs> yeah. Uh, in sure, I will sit how he wants to go. In rule 20, I'm going to take you guys to, like, an image just to, like, let you guys know exactly how big this tree is. And there are also, like, these little, like, uh, hubs uh, outside of the tree that you can travel into. And... It's kind of like, you know, little nests and different things that hang from the tree. So you guys are currently at the base of it, like inside of it. So okay, gives you kind of but you can idea. actually walk out onto that little like hammock and just chill out on that, that hammock. That hammock is like, is like a house. Like you can go inside that hammock and there's like 
rooms. Yeah, the thing's huge. Yeah, it's a massive. It's it's huge, but imagine somebody cutting them ropes. That's true. You would need something like a lightsaber. Uh, <laughs> and I and I say to these guys, uh, "Oh, it's Markov. I think I've heard this name before." Uh, is there any way that we could have an audience with the Reed? Respectfully, of course. Uh, I... I don't know. That's an odd request. Is there particular I business... I am kind of an unusual person. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of share a glance, and one of them kind of looks back at you. What, uh... It's possible. What should, what should we ask of the Reeve? Just that there are some visitors from foreign planets that are interested in learning more about this fine country and city and planet. Sure. Um, he looks at his uh, companion and they're like, uh, well, uh, it will take us some time to reach the Reeve and to discuss this. That's if he'll even... No problem. That's if he'll even listen to any of us today. There's no problem. Uh, do I think that they seem corrupt? Hmm. Let's make a, Let's call this a vigilance check. Um, let's do a corruption check. Yeah, a corruption check. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's call this vigilance, uh, and I'm gonna call it uh, difficulty two purple. Okay. On this roll. Is you know, M MG up, up there was making it rain and made me think. It's like I wonder if these guys are bribable, because they <laughs> seem to make the well, they seem to make the local populace uncomfortable. <laughs> I had another question as well. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, my influence power, do I have to be actually engaged with them? <laughs> or would I be able to talk indirectly to Tizo and kind of shape, kind of inception their thoughts? Um, <laughs> I think this, I think the specifics of the power say that you have to be engaged. So it would have to be probably, be, you'd have to be within like five feet of them and like, somehow communicating with them in so in some way to to do right that. what i'm thinking is like if i say things to tizo that is within earshot of them would i be able to mold their minds hmm. tizo pretend i'm talking to you i, <laughs> yeah, I would say exactly. i would say you are talking to me <laughs> i would say no because you're like your power has to influence them and you're kind of targeting Tizo that way. You know what I mean? Right. You're kind of trying to indirectly. <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to <laughs> manipulate Tizo like a puppet. <laughs> I was thinking of it like D and D where you can cast suggestion on someone as long as they hear it. And mm. so it doesn't matter if I'm like specifically naming someone, if they hear it then they're they're Yeah, I think in this game it's direct. more like it's more directly range related, not so much if you can hear or or see someone. Okay. Um But Yeska, uh with that with that role, um you get a slight sense that they are corrupt but corrupt against the citizens, not the Reeve. It's what we're fearing, you all. <laughs> oh, this is definitely going to the dark side. Just saying. <laughs> oh, Matthew Blitz Greybeard is here. He's here to try oh, to win the Pokemon. Oh, uh, he is Pokemon. in the house. Yeah. You gotta catch him. <laughs> oh, your heart's so you Gotta do it. Blitz, you missed our whole intro where we were talking about how <laughs> you wanted to win this so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, so yeah, that's that's what you get from that success and advantage is they are corrupt, but in a corrupt in a way that would be uh, beneficial to the Reeve, not so much the citizens of Koalas. Okay. I uh, kind of, you know, kind of try to end in the conversation and and back away. It's like, well, you know, tell me what your Reeve says. I'm sure you can find us. We're the only strangers in town. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it will be quite easy, I, uh, I assure you. Uh, see you around. And he kind of stands up. They and I and I go ahead. And I and I go I go back to my you know my party, my compatriots, mm -hmm. comp compatriots, compatriots, compatriots for party. Uh, you, you, you can't get with your compartment. My people. I go back to my people. <laughs> and uh, and kind of, you know, relay information. Say, mm -hmm. hey, perhaps this Reeve is, is the uh, Merillion person we're looking for here. Only one way to find out. I turn to Tizo and I say, hey, um, Tizo, you think we should do the same thing we did back at the uh, back of the market. Don't necessarily sure. think <laughs> we probably want to stay a little bit closer than we did before, but uh, we probably want to make sure that we follow behind them but while they go ask. Maybe this time uh, Raven can be a little bit more quieter with her jetpack. Oh. Yes. That, that would it's be not exactly helpful. like she can blend in. <laughs> true. Also, it might be a little this dangerous. Kind of a mono. Anyways. Jet back a whole place. That just wouldn't be that one coming. Um, Raven. It's I have them. A, it's the city burners. I have a. I have a question <laughs> for Raven. Yes, sir. Okay. You are a Mandalorian from the planet Mandalore. Uh, At... I think so, yes. <laughs> you believe. <laughs> um, so. Question for Raven. You hmm. are, as you're witnessing this thing happen from across the way, mm -hmm. you start to remember things about your younger years. Um, maybe even some of the stories that you heard. I don't know if Raven had witnessed all of it. But you may start to remember some of the war and conflict of your planet. And what that constant fighting did to Mandalore. Uh, ever since you landed here, I would, I would think you would probably feel this like amazement by how much lush greenery is here compared to what Mandalore is now. Mm -hmm. What would Raven feel? What would be going through her mind seeing or feeling this kind of push and pull of conflict as you're witnessing it within these crowds of people in front of you? Um... She's not really sure what's happening behind the scenes because she's mm -hmm. heard rumors about th this insane ruler. Yeah. Um, but in general, seeing how alive this place is and how complete it feels, it's probably a little bittersweet Mm -hmm. Because she's so used to the fighting and, like, the dark... Not really the darkness, but, like, the negativity. Mm -hmm. And she's steeled herself for so long to keep honor in order to retain a part of herself so it doesn't get lost in the fighting. So, seeing this place, despite the conflict behind the scenes, so at peace and full of life, she's very conflicted. Okay. She's not sure how it's working. Perfect. 
Excellent. How about the rest of you? Uh, are you still inside the bakery, or are you going outside to reconvene with your Mandalorian friend? Didn't think to yeah, ask this question sooner, but Tizo, you're still holding my equipment, right? Or did we not buy it? Your equipment? The, the are you talking parts? about the, the ship parts? Yeah, I still have it. Yeah, he's carrying it. Are we? Are we casually carrying it, or do you, do we have like means I mean, to carry? You just like <laughs> it's just I sit on the floor when I'm sitting down, but I'm just like under, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how big the parts are. They might go in the they, backpack. The, when we were talking, it, it's it's pretty. It gets pretty heavy after a while with the number of things. I was wondering, maybe this is gonna be really weird, but can it be that guy that like walks around with a shopping cart? <laughs> Some sort of wheel and buggy. <laughs> there are uh, there are some places that outside they have like these uh, massive uh, wicker baskets. You could use one of those. <laughs> Oh, because I can't carry it, I'll, I'll put this stuff in there and I'll hand the basket to Tiza. <laughs> there you go. It's only one spot now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, as Save you, that for when we go to see Grandma. You guys do watch as these guards uh, start heading up, and it looks like they're starting to walk up a... Uh, a it's kind of like a spiral staircase, but it's more like a wooden ramp that starts to go up uh, to another level. Uh, within this inner in, inside of this tree um, it's still really crowded there's a lot of people around milling about but as you guys are watching uh, you, you get that that same sense from that uh, bakery owner you get that same sense with a lot of these people that are walking around you start uh, Yeska you start to like pinpoint people are ignoring like as much as they can like avoiding the guards like the city the city watch like anytime they see one come near, they deliberately, yeah, like walk around them or try to avoid them. And it's about that time that you hear uh, to your right, uh, something fall to the ground and spills everywhere. And then you can, you look over to see there are two uh, guards, city watchmen. They're just pummeling, beating down uh, one of these citizens. And they have dropped their wicker basket and it spilled something all over the ground uh, next to them. And they're just taking like the back ends of the deary, the deary weapons that they got. Not the sharp ends, but the back the blunt ends. They're just kind of like... That's what you get for breaking the laws. One of them kind of like... Comfortable with this? Is it possible to like get some like without causing much of a scene to make sure that most of the stuff that's spilled out of the wicker basket doesn't get too far out can Abs i like absolutely just start picking it up yeah 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 you kind of rush over i don't um, know if i want to pick it up all, all together but i do want to casually kind of make it seem like i can yep. kick it toward them like is that. this absolutely. outside the bakery this is happening yeah it's outside yep it's kind of like right right in the middle of the courtyard just happening Jessica is going to try to use his growing camaraderie with these guards mm -hmm. uh, to try to defuse the situation. Okay. Sure. Uh, so you like hey, to do? hello. I met, I met several of your friends over in the bakery and at the gate. It's a very great pleasure to meet you. Mind oh, your own business, off-worlder. No, it's no problem. No problem. I'm just trying to get to know this city a little bit better. But how, this is none of you? this is none of your business. Carry on. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just trying to see if this man has any thing I want to buy. No problem. Hey, hey. Hello. How are you? It's tell, he, tell he, me. Uh, what he, what kind of things does this man sell? Buying is my business. It's illegal to sell these seeds at this time of the month. Ah, what kind of seeds are they? Elrit seeds of the great trees. Oh, what do, what what do they do? Is it special for food or for uh, burning incense? What do you do with these seeds? Well, you plant them. Okay. <laughs> Why is it illegal? I'm new to this city. Please tell it's, me. It's illegal. Friend, it's yeah? illegal because the reed says it's illegal. That's why. 
New thought. Uh, okay. Can I pocket some of these seeds while he's talking? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really? Um, they're quite. They're they're like the size of like they're just almost the size of a football. Like ostrich. Uh, it looks like an ostrich. They're like gonna size get. Seeds. If I can put it, if I can take it, I'm gonna mix them in with the scrap metal that we have in our basket. <laughs> Yes, yes, okay. I will aid in the distraction because Raven, yeah. watching this, is not sitting still. She is mm -hmm. just going to go over and help the person up. Okay, perfect. Absolutely. And Nico Nico probably notices when he puts the things in the basket that Tizo has his other hand behind his back underneath his cloak, which is, you all know that's where he keeps his lightsaber. <laughs> and he kind of looks oh, I thought kind you were like upset. using another no. seed and like stuffing no. his back in No, no, no. <laughs> I've always had this hunched back. Uh, Duran, is there anything in particular that Dran would be doing or going about at this time? Waiting for a moment to uh, kind of keep an eye on this guy that's getting beat up to see if he's wounded and needs any medical attention. Okay. Dr. Dran is too busy shanking somebody in a corner somewhere. <laughs> 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 that's right. That's right. <laughs> All the other guards are um, dead so... behind the bakery. Dran just took him out. Yeah. <laughs> they will be soon. I <laughs> like my knife. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, what I need you to do, Nico, is you're being aided in a distraction. Uh, so you're going to get uh, a boost die on your roll. Um, and I think the I don't think there's a sleight of hand in Star Wars. I think it's all stealth. Um, unless there's something different oh. that we should apply. Skullduggery. I thought you were saying what? Skullduggery was kind of similar. It's kind of similar. Yeah, yeah let's do Skullduggery. Let's, uh, let's call it Skullduggery. You get a boost, and I'm going to say, since they're guards, and they're highly alert right now, I'm going to say the difficulty is going to be three purple dice. So it's going to be a hard difficulty on this, because they don't seem to be quite happy that Yeska has come and stopped them and what they were doing. Not stopping, not stopping, just asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say anything. I just put my arm underneath his and just lift. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you get closer, Raven and Dr uh, and John, you guys can tell uh, that um, this Satharian individual is rather elderly. Oh, Ooh. oh no, mm -hmm. Michael. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It seems to be just. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, okay. I, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, oh. Seven. Like, wait, uh, wait. What are you doing? What is that? That belongs practicing. That belongs to the Reeve. Pointing Ooh. at Nico. Exactly. My friend here was just making sure it was safe. We don't want anyone stealing any of these seeds. They sound like they're very precious. Well, they are. Would you please place them in yeah, that basket Nico. right there and we will take them. We'll take them to the reef. Yeah, of course, of course. There's no, yeah, no more reason right to here, be. Right? And I'm going to just put it into some random person's basket. This one, right? Okay, so you're deliberately doing that in front of them? Like just putting it in some random <laughs> yeah, basket? Yeah, this, this, this person's basket, right? One of, one of the guards like literally like walks over to that basket and grabs that Satharian. You just put that basket in, that thing in the basket, reaches in and grabs it out of the basket and then pushes that's a Tharian down to the ground, uh, and they drop their basket. Yes, this one. And he takes it and he puts it in the other basket with the others. Oh, can we kill them now? <laughs> I don't really want to. I I... You guys are so, you guys are starting to notice. Angry. Yeah, you guys are starting to notice that like the crowd is kind of hushed around you, and the 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 civilians are all kind of just like very sheepishly like looking around and like wondering what's going on and then you see like above like on like a pedestal kind of like on the edge of like the second floor would be you see like three other guards just kind of watching i'm going to whisper to the older uh man come along with me things are going to get a little messy follow me darling oh, you you really shouldn't you shouldn't hear. I'm, it's, I'm, it's, le I'm leading him away. You, 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 and he, he whispers to you. He's like, I think, I think before you do anything, you should speak to Pathrin. He. Who's Pathrin? Pathrin Helshar. He, he resides within the roots. All right. 
Thank you. Starting open conflict here would be uh, dangerous for everyone. I'm sure the boys have it handled. <laughs> you may suffer some conflict points. <laughs> Raven's not going to defuse the situation, so she's removing herself to make sure this man is okay. And okay. if they defuse it or escalate it, Raven she's not upset would. either way. Yeah, you walk away with him. It's he kind of he just whispered it to Raven, so it's up to Raven whether she would have some way to communicate it to you guys or not. I think over comm link, I would. Do we have like comms? Yeah, you guys yep. have comms. Yeah, yeah. Link. Yep. As I'm, as my back's turned, I calm link what he just said to me. Allies are great in warfare. Let's try and <laughs> like, feel, feel free to defuse or escalate. <laughs> I'm fine either the way. the room, Jane. Um, and, and while you guys, while, while Raven is kind of moving that person away, you see the one of the guards is kind of like picking up all the seeds and putting in the basket. It almost seems like they don't care that this guy's been, been drug away now. They're just focused on, uh, basketing up these seeds and it looks like they're just getting ready to take them and then just walk off, uh, with them. One of them, one of them kind of just, note. one of them just kind of looks at, uh, looks at Yeska. I advise you to watch your tongue off worlder. Oh, I'm very sorry. No fencing. I'm just trying to learn how the city works. <laughs> There's no oh, fencing in this area. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Q fencing. A little bit no of fencing. Thank you. Thank you for telling me more about your city. <laughs> you see, I, I think you have all of your seeds here. Uh, you know, it's, it's a great pleasure to meet you. Okay. Uh, one thing I did want to say, uh, Nico, you did roll three advantages on your roll. So is there anything uh, you, you would want those three advantages to be an advantageous thing for you guys, even though your even though your ability to grab it has it, like take it for yourself has not succeeded, you can still have an, an advantage that goes along with it. To track this person, so I have uh, I memorized this person that like shoved the person down and start collecting the seeds. Yeah. I have him marked as a person I know and can recognize anywhere. Perfect. Yep, you can do that. Sure. Yes. By the end of this session, he will be dead. <laughs> <Yeah. just everybody laughs> what happened to Dave? I don't know. He just dropped dead on the toilet. <laughs> Not this strange syringe into his neck and then stabbed him. I didn't know what killed him. Yeah, and, and as... As these individuals kind of just turn around and walk away from you guys, and Nico's just like watching this guy, like everywhere he goes, like you can see this look Nico's giving this individual. Uh, they just they just kind of leave. Eventually, the sheepish crowd seems to disperse and go back to their business. Um, but it seems like a lot of the citizens are trying to avoid you guys as much as possible, like. They're not look. They're not. They're trying. They're avoiding eye contact. One hundred percent. They're just trying. Like if you if you're near them, they walk around you by about twenty feet. Um, what about the person who got shoved to the ground? Can we oh, check they, on them? I'm, oh, yeah, I'm they, with him. They they immediately well, basically got man, up. They, the, the second, the oh, the other one. person. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, the other person basically just got oh, up, grabbed yeah, their the, stuff, and kind of ran off. You know, oh, kind of well. like I'm not. I, I'm not part of this. I don't want to be any part of it. I'm out of here. And they just took off. That went well. <laughs> well, we didn't we didn't kill anybody, so I think if that, we can consider that a win. That is yes, it is very hard not to have uh, <laughs> killed them. I put his hand on shoulders. I understand. I really wanted to slice his beak off. <laughs> I really wanted uh, to roast his chicken. If if we were not in this big crowd, they would not be still standing. I agree. You but he did man on... you, know, he... you want to keep an eye on us. He did mention bird. the Reeve again. I think this Reeve is maybe not such a good guy. And maybe this Patrick knows more about him. Agreed. I think we need to see if we can head deeper down into the tree. What do you think, Raven and Nico? Um Give me a moment. I'm going to um, ask this man before I go back to the boys um, if there's a more 
Is there a subtle route or a direct route down to the roots? Is there a um, route to the roots? Is there a route to the roots? He, uh, he kind of looks at you and he's like, uh, well, uh, please don't, uh, don't tell anyone I told you, but uh, there are many ways into the root systems, but... If you find, um, if you find a, uh, a, a younger Satharian named, uh, Adriav, uh, he can take you to Pathrin. Where do I find that one? Um, he, uh, he usually helps, uh, uh Jill Carlis over at the farm, uh, stables area. Uh, you'll, you'll notice all the Tarvixes. He can usually be found there. Well. I don't even know your name, so they won't know it came from you. Thank you for your uh, gracious generosity. Are you sure you're okay? I've survived this for quite many years. I can survive a few more. Many more, let's hope. Mm. He kind of just gives you a bow and you allow him to kind of walk away he just starts i'll head back to the boys mm -hmm. okay at that time i'm telling the group uh definitely think that going lower is much safer than going higher um he mentioned going over to the farm hand um i've already forgotten names because i'm atriav atriav Okay, I think I'm gonna have to start passing out setback dice. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no, that was great. Did you know, Rico, you were the one that we chose for this session. Do you mean? Do you mean you must break that's, us? That's it. Oh, no. <laughs> um, take at, about fifteen points. <laughs> as uh, as Raven mentions the uh, the farm stables area, she points over in that direction, and you can see that that conversation from that individual and those two guards has almost turned into a shouting match. Oh jeez! Do I think that's the one I'm looking for? You're not a hundred percent sure. There, it, it's no, hard it's to tell. Uh, I did the last one. You're up. It's it's difficult to tell. Um, uh, just. Uh, Gender, uh, gender, or with these Tharian people, I mean, they all kind of are covered in feathers. Uh, That's right. Feathers, <laughs> just feathers <laughs> everywhere. Uh, yes. <laughs> so you're not really sure. Uh, There's no kind of color scheme. There are different colors. Yeah, they're like the the males are more muted and the females mm, are not, more vibrant. Not really. Or vice versa. Not really. It it it, it yeah. would be cool. Yeah, it would make sense. You know, car cardinals, male cardinals are you know bright red and the. <laughs> but not in particular with this or, you uh, know the peacock <laughs> yeah the peacock feathers yeah <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's making sure I know this too the one that i'm following was he a very specific color um I, I wouldn't say he was a specific color but you picked out like you were looking pretty with those advantages you kind of took note of some of the 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 designs of his feathers and stuff like that so you're pretty sure that even mm -hmm. though even though it'd be difficult to like pick them out in a huge crowd, uh, you'd still be able to see like some of the different uh, shapes, guess, shapes Michael, and colors. Michael, can you do me a favor for my mind's sake? Can you type the names of the farmhand and the guy in the roots yeah. that we're supposed to be looking for, so I'll... I don't forget? Because I've because yeah. I've written them down, but I'm not sure about the spelling. Yeah, yeah. there's Adria, yeah, our... and the other Adria. one was Jill. Uh, Jill Carlos. Oh, I I put like Jill Carlos. Jill Carlos. I had D I L. <laughs> <I had Gio. laughs> Italiano. <laughs> Sorry, Italians. I love you. <laughs> but yeah, it's almost like as they're having a shouting match. Um, you can hear the one Satharian say. But you've already collected my taxes for the week. How could you raise them again? I can't, I can't, I can't afford all of this. You're going to run me under. Uh, 
I, I did the last one. Tizo, it's your turn. <laughs> I don't think me going to, uh... <laughs> hmm. Intervene would be the smartest move. So, I, I will... Let someone else... This, I do not. I'm starting to not like this place whatsoever. I start reluctantly walking over, and I say, "Excuse me, I, I'd like to make a purchase here." Oh, you walking up to the farm hand to say that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, as you do so, like, the guards kind of look I'll, at you. I'll, I'll go along with, but I'm not talking. Yeah, yeah I'm right same, behind them. Same, yeah. The guards look at you, Nico, and they're like, Well, great! And they look back at the Satharian. Uh, the purchase price of whatever they buy will go to cover your tax. Seems fair. Oh, well. This a special occasion. Um, I was just wondering how many things I could get upcharged. So, how much would... And I just point to some random thing. Is that gonna go? <laughs> right. uh, basically, it's it's like a it's like a farm. So they just have lots of like food uh, and produce. Uh, so they just like you can get a bunch of stuff for. However many, like you could spend as many credits as you want on produce. So what, random wait, produce is this, item. Is this random, like, random nuts is this like and an fruits animal and kind uh, of the farm, or is this like a fruit stall? It's it's both. Okay. It's kind of like imagine a fruit stall on one side, and it kind of transitions into this uh, place with Tarvexes. Um, it's like the yeah, same person does bin- business in both. Uh, <laughs> We we also and the the farm hand kind of like looks at you. We also rent uh, these out as well and points over to the tarvexes. You can see they they all have they all have saddles and kind of like these um, blankets kind of draped over their backs. What if we make this easy? What if we make this easy? Um, Farmham, what's your name? Uh, my name is Jill. How much do you owe? They came here asking for 300 credits. So much. 300 credits? They already uh, they already taxed me a thousand earlier on this week. I'm going to pull out 300 credits. Okay. They asked 300 credits. <laughs> I'm offering credit. This doesn't happen very often. <laughs> and I put it in the farmhand's hand. Okay. Consider it our tab. Yes. Yes, of course. Uh, and he hands the credits to the guards. And they take it. See? It wasn't so hard. Next time we come running around, next time the Reeve raises your taxes, just pay up. Don't argue about it. And they just grab the uh, the credits and they they scamper off. I do one thing before they leave. I want to turn to one of the guards. Okay. And I'm going to say, you know, I work in a little bit of Defarming some tax hands, tax credits off of people's pockets. And you know, sometimes it works a little honey instead of a little vinegar. Maybe if you add a touch of sweetness to your tone next time. And I'm going to charm him into being sweeter next time. <laughs> okay. So you're using your force ability? Yes. Okay. Uh, go ahead and... Uh... I think does this, one, does, does this ability is this when you um you roll your force die with your check? Is that what this is? Yeah. 
This okay. is the I'm using as the combined check. Let me um, uh, let me check. Is this against its discipline? Is that discipline what against discipline? Yep. Discipline. Okay. Let me see. Uh, what's uh, discipline's based on willpower, right? Mm, is it willpower? You? I'm gonna switch over. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I think it would be two. It's gonna be two purple. Uh, would be your difficulty. Uh, will. Yeah. So two. Two purple. Yep. Uh, and then. I add one of these, I believe, and then it's my discipline. So let's see how this goes. And just because I want to make this, I'm going to use a light side die. Okay. Yeah, you can flip it. Upgrade. Flip it to upgrade. Absolutely. And then this is discipline. Sweet. Two um, light side in there. Look at that. So I think you can turn so those into I'm, successes, right? Um, it is one is automatically a success. It it can be another success. I can also use it to increase the number of individuals. So possibly both of them convinced to be sweeter. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. You can do that. It's like they're frisking you down, but you know, like you don't hate it so much. <laughs> and I am going to, um, yeah. So their mood changes. Their their eyebrows take the less angry <laughs> look, and then they kind of they lighten up a little bit. Yeah, you know what? Um, you might be right. You know, I do remember a time where I was, I wasn't this uptight. The other one's like, yeah, it's... We, we, we need to get this tax money collected. Maybe, yeah. and it, I'm going to possess. I'm going to possess. And as, they're, as, they're, as, they're, as they're walking away, you hear one's like, yeah, did you hear him talking about, you know, pouring on the sweetness? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's real clever. It's a real good idea. Why haven't we? Why haven't we been doing it this way the whole time? And they just they just walk back off into the crowd. People like avoiding them. Like, hearts and minds. Hearts, hearts and minds. Mind. Victoria. <laughs> Victoria in the chat Victoria. getting me. Victoria in the chat getting me good. What's she saying? She's asking if Raven is ever naked, as in naked outside of her suit. <laughs> I was like, I've seen him at her helmet. And Victoria's like, yeah, I sure been naked. <laughs> okay, uh, that, Nico, that threat that you rolled, um, Jill looks at you and has a shocked expression. It is like, Wait a second. You just... You just did something there. You better be careful doing that kind of thing around here. The, uh... The Jedi are not very well, well liked here. No one said anything about the J-word. <laughs> you don't know anything. He, he looks. He look, she, Well, actually, it's a she. She looks. At, she looks at you. She looks at you and says, "The Jedi ruined this place." Oh God! You're using that word again. Please come in. Cool. Come in, all of you. All of you, right now. Come in. Come in. And she, she like, kind of grabs you by the by the wrist, kind of Nico, and is like starting to like drag you into like the the store <laughs> barn area. You know, please, please, come. I go in. Sure. Follow. All right, yes, I And she closes the door uh, behind all of you. And you can see another Satharian kind of comes in carrying some different supplies. Maybe they were outside, like, feeding the Tarvexes or something. Um, where, where is it that you've all come from? What brings you here? Here, retrieve an item 
and be on our way. That's all. What item is it that you're looking for? I guess you could say it's a rare commodity item that you can't purchase from any normal market supply. You'll understand we have to have absolute discretion around here. We don't want you getting involved in potentially making things worse for you. It's not fair for you. But we are looking for someone named Adria. We were told he could lead us to uh, Jill Carlos. As soon as you say that name, the other Satharian that walked into the room is like, what? Me? Yo, Adriev? I'm, I'm Adriev. Um, what is it I've heard that rumors you need? That you could get us into the roots. Oh, the roots. Uh, yeah. Uh, is what exactly are you seeking in the roots? Um, we were told we should speak to um, Joe Pat- Carlos. Is Catherine? Catherine? Patherine, yes. Oh, Patherine. I Patherine. thought it was Jill Carlos in the roots. Yes, um, I would prefer we wait for the cover of night. It's, if possible. That works. Hey. I wouldn't uh, say we're in a particular rush. But, um, yeah, yeah, I, I can get you there. I can get you there. And, like, you see uh, Jill kind of looks at uh, Adriev with kind of a concerned look on her face, but then says, uh, Be careful. And, uh, Ad- to ask one more question before we uh, await for tonight. How much do you all know about this uh, Markov? character uh as soon as you say markov they kind of get very reserved and listen i just know that he came here years ago with uh, with another jedi they said that they were here to help resolve the conflict uh, between the Helshar and the Tumris families. Uh, they said that they were scouting the area because this place could be a good potential site for uh, some type of base. But then the one Jedi left and left the other here. It was okay for a little while, but then I don't know, all the power went to his head. And now this is what we're left with. This is the life we live. Under the constant nagging of the, the Reeve. Do you know the other name of the Jedi? I believe the Jedi's name was Suljo. Uh, Yeah, we're familiar. Maybe Gel went rogue or something. He, uh, Markov went up the ranks pretty quickly around here. Seemed like he must have found some sort of easy crack in the, the society structure. Well, see, with both families constantly at war over who was the rightful ruler of this city. The Jedi came in thinking that they were the peacekeepers. They were going to restore this place and make it one that was united. But after Soljo left, he promised to return and never came back. And when he left, he left this uh, associate of his in charge and when it came time for him to relinquish his power he held it with an iron fist 
be a dark side user. Fear is a very powerful emotion. Very controlling emotion. Oh, there is, oh, there is much fear here among the citizens of Qualis. Such hope for this place. I'll tell you all this. There's a lot more powerful things out there besides fear and hate. Honestly, those who inflict fear and hatred in others often have a lot of that stuck within themselves. But whether it's hope. We'll reconvene this evening. Um, perhaps there's a place that we could uh, rest our bones for a moment. Lay low. Uh, Joe kind of looks at you and says, I, I do have uh, a small warehouse here in the back. I do have rooms that I tend to rent out. It, uh, it gives me a little extra income to pay the taxes. But since you were also generous in helping me with my situation today, you may stay here for free. If you overstay, let us know and we'll pay. And she kind of bows to you. Uh, approvingly and um you can see she kind of looks back at uh adriev and adriev kind of gets back to work uh doing what he was doing and it seems like she goes over to the door and kind of opens her shop back up for the day and um yeah i would say it's probably uh midday ish probably like three by probably like a 3 p.m type thing uh the the light kind of uh, does reflect inside this tree from all like the the openings that are in within the the outside bark, so you guys can tell it might get dark a little bit quicker here because of the the tree canopy and things of that nature. Uh, Jill kind of opens her shop back up after telling you guys this information. Um, Adriev seems to go back to work. It seems as if all the commotion has kind of settled down a bit. And that same kind of feeling that you get whenever you entered Qualis is still kind of just always lingering here. It's just an always constant uh, feeling of fear and uh, uncertainty among the citizens. What would you guys like to do at this point? You guys got a little bit of time before the evening. Uh, we can we can fast forward to the house. evening or you can go exploring a little bit. It's up to you. Do we want to talk to Souljo? I feel like if we... Sorry, what did you say, Doctor? This, this is such a beautiful place, and it's it, it has such a dark seed. I don't know if I could leave this place without making that right. If if what we're gathering is true to true to form, he's got to be a dark side user, and we need to eliminate him. It's our specialty. <laughs> This place does not deserve that dark. Taking him out is a um, direct method, but I don't necessarily think that just removing the root of evil is going to make this as easy. I think it's better to try and appeal to his nature. He is still a more sensitive being, that is. I think the doctor might be right. Maybe we should ask... Sojo himself to, uh, for more information about this individual. In an ideal we world, if we can find him. We have the holocron that oh, has the ho the some the of his yeah. We don't know how much he'll remember of the current situation. Yes, but it's, I think it's worth a try. Stand to lose nothing. Alright. When we get to the warehouse, how, just so I know, so I'm not feeling super nervous about this, how enclosed is this warehouse? Oh, it's very enclosed. It, it seems like you definitely have privacy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't know I... if you were saying because you're like claustrophobic. It's like, you live in a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> Point <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> a pilot in a spaceship with claustrophobia. Right like space. an oxymoron there. 
<laughs> Some fish like to live in a bigger fish tank. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's why I always sit next to the window. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, but I will keep an eye on the door while they do what they need. Oh, I'll give my backpack to, I'm assuming, uh, I'll give it to Raven, because I definitely don't necessarily trust Dr. Dread right now. <laughs> I'm not very good at carrying things anyway. <laughs> I give the backpack with the holocron to Raven, and I'll just keep an eye on the door of the warehouse. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it out. Okay, uh, Raven uh, takes out the holocron and focuses her mind and her life energy on the force that surrounds her. And you watch as the holocron starts to open up and this holographic uh, soldier ward appears, uh, glowing in a brilliant blue light, like shining in front of you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my friends, it seems that you have made it. Made it to Koalas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, soldier, what do you remember about Koalas? Well, I, I do remember that Koalas was the place where this holocron was constructed. Interesting. Yes. Uh, did you come here uh, alone? No, no. I came with uh, with the force-sensitive Mirialan uh, by the name of Gel Markov. I brought him here with me so he could... Uh, he could learn what it was like to uh, to use the force disciplines to talk to individuals and help them to communicate and be a good mediator between two parties. Quickly, do you have any history of just being a, a dark force user at all? Do you seem like he was lenient to the dark side? Oh, never, <laughs> not at all. I, he was he was very capable. I saw much much in him. Um, We all just like awkwardly look left right. Well, why is why is everyone looking around at each other so strangely? I'm confused. Because he's become a tyrant of this place. That's why. Not not Gel, not Markov. No way. It's impossible. We haven't, like I'm, we haven't seen him, but we have heard people mention the Markov, the Reeve, as that he is kind of in control, too much control over this three city just don't want to alarm you just we may oh no i'm trying to alarm you <laughs> better not this is listen to the raven <laughs> search your feelings this is no, should be an alarm soldier <laughs> this is very much a big alarm yes soldier there's no be discipline honest. or honor here it's just it's just debatable but be honest with us did you yourself give him any reason to show strong emotions of disdain or abandonment. Something that would lead him to think tyrancy is a method of of life that is valid. Uh, n- n- not at all. Of course not. Of course not. I saw great I saw great things for him. I, this is impossible. I saw his future. I foresaw what he would become and this is not it. What did you see? I saw a great Jedi who was able to wield a powerful green bladed saber. Who could stand in the way of tyranny, not to become it. Well, you're not very good at that, are you? (laughs) Doesn't he have like a special force power that we could learn? Is it even going to help us at this point? He didn't didn't see this coming. (laughs) Maybe this is Knowledge for us. It's imperfect. What was that lip? It, we got all staticky on me. It's like, what we're telling is you're a bad teacher. You fail at your own job. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be the first person to sign up for your class. Oh, no, no, look. What happens to the student after he's left the teacher is on the student. Unless those students are killed, then it's still on the teacher who taught the, this person that killed the students. Unless the you teacher gave I mean. him promises and he didn't fulfill them. 
In any case, I think your old student has made some really bad choices, and we just need some insight in order to either stop him or help to change his mind, take him away from this situation. At the end of my creation, I do know that one of the three kyber crystals was given to Markov. But I'm not sure of if, if what you say is true. I'm not even sure anything of anything anymore. Very helpful. Thank you. I mean, what do I, what do you expect? You, you open the holocron, you tell me that all my Jedi are dead. Uh, my uh, potential paddle on learner has going evil and the tyrant. Hey, look, we're just messengers. Don't shoot messengers. That's what we always say. All right. Well, do you have anything that is of you? Something that could appeal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. Well, I was say, well, that looks that way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> As I was saying, does is anyone there else have any other of... questions for the bad teacher? Yes, I was going to ask if there's a way he could be of use, if he knows any weaknesses or means to appeal to this man's nature. Any, any secrets, Any anything. childhood injuries? Right. Does he have Just a trick? Childhood means? trauma, anything we can pull and play on without killing him outright. Listen, I, uh, if the student starts acting up, you just kind of squeeze them in a certain part and they go to sleep. Listen, I do know that um, one of the things that I was able to see into this young Mirilan was his ability to be influential. He is a very good leader. Uh, he is very charismatic. Um, he's very good with words. Let's say he's very effective leader. I'm not so sure about the good part. If, if what you say is true, then it is possible. Um, perhaps he has learned to sway individuals with this With this natural ability of his, I don't know. I look at Nico. I, I, I am, I am sorry to you all. I did not know that this was. I did not know that a this bigger had mess. happened. It's mm. obviously a bigger I... mess. Yeah, we're always the cleanup crew, apparently. So, was that all? <laughs> <laughs> are you asking him? Is that all? Or are you asking the whole I'm group? I'm asking everybody in That's this room. Oh. We'll keep the Is that all? Halfway, you called me. Halfway through the, the conversation, I would have walked out of the, the uh, place that we're in. Walked back outside. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go find one of the other one of the people that we were talking to before. Um, uh, either Jill or um. Yeah, either one. Adriev. Okay. First person that you find is Adriev. Uh, I walk up to them and, excuse me, uh, the, the, the leader of, of, of your community here, do, do they look like me? Uh, yes. Like, uh, my... Yes, they, they look, they look very much like you, little, little taller, um... Walks with a bit more confidence when it is that you do see him, which is very rare. Uh, another question: Is there is there any is, is anybody I've seen this individual fight? Uh, n no. Um, that's what all the guards and guard captains are for. Since he's become Reeve, he has increased the amount of guards here in the city, and those that don't go along with his bidding are locked up in the prisons within the roots below. 
some were lucky enough to uh, quit before he became too powerful and moved on to other small settlements across the Arbuene, but... Listen, are you... Have you come to help? Have you come to help us? I guess it depends on what you mean by help. Listen. He kind of looks around, making sure nobody's, like, around. See, Patherin, he is the son of the matriarch of the Hellshar family. He has a lot of influence and sway. He is... He's starting a rebellion. But we haven't got the numbers. We haven't got the power. He's afraid that if we attack too soon, it'll just get stamped out. And everyone will be killed or imprisoned. We could use some people that can do the things like your friend can do. Have you... Have you heard of the Force? Yes, we, we, we know something about it. Okay, well, li listen, you might want to just... Don't, don't talk about it openly. Around here. Uh, but we could use it. Meaning you can actually use it, or you could use someone that can use it? Oh, I can't use it. You could use somebody that can use it. To use it. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. We just, we just, we'll, we'll talk to Patherine later. Yes, we'll, after the conversation, we'll, we'll have a discussion with ourselves. See what we can do. We would be grateful. Thank you. Thank you for the information. He kind of bows to you and then scampers off back to work. I, I will go back to the the warehouse. <laughs> Raven, still holding the soldier word, still sitting there. No, I, Does I anyone think, have like, anything else to ask me? I've been yeah, standing here for like 15 minutes. I... No, <laughs> go back in your cube. <laughs> Yeah. Put okay. the teacher back. In the, bag. <laughs> the teacher, back in the teacher bag. vanishes back into the holocron, and you guys put him back into the bag. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Right. Mm. So now we know that he's a person, and he's definitely here. And he Might have four has powers. The... <laughs> I don't know. Has what do you think? Person. Revolution? 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 Revolution. I'm good at those. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me I, nervous I, I, to bring more war me. here. Let's settle for a light overthrow. Revolution's a little bit heavy for me. <laughs> Fair enough. This is, this With is not exactly. Damage possible. This is not exactly our place. We don't want to just kill the bad guys, and they have no way to sustain themselves. Hmm. Yeska. Well, I need you to make me a check. I'm saying that. Uh, this is going to be this is going to be an intellect based check. Let me see. This is what... a desert storm check. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see uh, what you got as far as skills go. I want to see what this would be. Um. <laughs> I'm just gonna a say. Civics check. Let's just call this. I'll give you. I'll give you a choice. You can either make it. Um, uh, 
I wish I could just do like a base intelligence uh, intellect, but. Knowledge. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a knowledge check. Uh, Will it be lore? Yeah, no. lore is more for like. Let's do this. You have knowledge warfare down there. Yeah. Go ahead and roll that. Any difficulty on that? Yeah, this is going to be two purple. No, not two. Two. You said warfare. Yeah, knowledge warfare on this one. Based on, like, what you said and the communication that you guys have been having thus, thus far. Okay. Well, boo. <laughs> I'm trying to see how this uh, how this could be advantageous. I rolled, <laughs> I rolled, I rolled six of them. I guess I don't know what to do once I've freed a country either. Right. It would be like it makes it absolutely makes sense that this person should not be in rule. You're just not really sure how to tie up the loose ends when it's all said and done. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I could connect them to a network of people that would love to have another planet on their side. I mean, all, all, all joking aside, is like this is a necessary thing to do, but I also have no idea how to do it. <laughs> so I apologize, U.S. <laughs> government. I'm sorry. You all think that it would be possible to give power back to the people this is really obvious perhaps somebody like Adriev would know enough about his own homeland to take leadership in that way well the individual we're going to see apparently is of has quite the influence and is of noble birth I think of one of the families so, and I was just told that he, they are trying to get a rebellion. Well, there's an answer then. They don't have a plan for uh, succeeding in such a rebellion. Well, that's I'm assuming when we would find out when we go to talk out. to them. Yeah, we gotta go yeah, talk to them. Yeah, maybe they families or something. I, I do think we might have a way in to talk to this Padawan if he is that uh, we could say that we I'm have a, a gift from Soja Ward Ooh. the name I'm would sure, I'm sure that would get his attention and probably let us in to see them, so. I don't think we can make any choices until we speak to the one in the roots. Yeah. Agreed. We have options. We'll talk, we need we'll to, talk to this Mr. Hellshar. Here. But I also did find out that uh, person in charge is Sojo Ward's Padawan. Mm. So we like need to be careful. Yeah. Right, well. Onward and upward. Downward. Or downward. <laughs> downward. Okay. No, yes. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going. We're going down into roots. We're not going back up to the sky. Pilots, am I right? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Thanks, Jessica. <laughs> There's no problem. Don't worry. I am second language learner. <laughs> now, a uh, question for you guys: You do still have some time before night. You have two options here. You can kind of skip forward and just take a break and relax. 
during this time. Maybe try to heal uh, some wounds, perhaps, that you have. Um, I would vote for that. Or you can kind of explore for a few hours more of Koalas or go up a few levels or just kind of just walk around and see what else is there. Those are kind of like your options at this point. It's kind of open-ended here. So it's up to you. I am worried that if we see more of these injustices, we will not be able to help ourselves. I was also shown, thinking that we should probably keep a low profile. Restraint. Yep, lay low, make contact. We're very noticeable here, so I feel like we should just wait it out until we talk tonight. Okay. And any Sounds other ideas? I start getting out my med pack. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, I can, um, I can do a little bit of surgery on him. Yeah, what I'll allow you guys to do is if somebody wants to try to, uh, uh, Dran and uh, Yeska, if you guys want to try to recover from your critical injuries, uh, I believe it's a medic medicine check. It's like once a week or something, uh, or is that a thing? Yeah, it's kind of once a week. I'm I would say I would say when you guys were flying here, that was that week, and this one will be like your okay. attempt uh, to get over it for this weeks. for this new week. Yeah. Yes. Um, so if it's you guys want to do that? It's been one right? week since you did. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I believe Jeez. this is a, it's based on the difficulty of the critical injury that you're recovering from. Yeah. Um, and it's a medical check and you guys can use, uh, if you have your med packs, I think med pack adds a blue boost to your check. Is that correct? MG one blue boost. Okay. It does. Um, and remember, uh, someone else has to do it for you unless you want penalties like you can't do the medicine check oh. on yourself it's harder to do it it's that way you. yeah you can do it to yourself but you have many setbacks added because it's very difficult to do yeah. that's good because my internet is fritzing again so can someone medical check me oh yes. yeah i was thinking dran would uh do work on yeska and i will do work on dran it's like a chain, like I'm working on him. There you go. There you like, go. like a, a shoulder massage. <laughs> you wow. always sit in a, in a, like a, a line just working on each other. And I don't know if any of you have it, but everybody, your strain is filled up, so you don't have to worry about any strain right now. Uh, at the beginning of the session, you guys can... Gotcha, yeah. uh, oh, your strain is good. Gotcha. Um, can I draw upon the good side of destiny to see if I can really do my duty for... Uh... My yeah, friend, yeah, here. you can. Yeah, you can flip a destiny point and upgrade your your ability. Yeah. Uh, yes, because uh, difficulty uh, difficulty is going to be one purple for this critical injury. One purple. Okay. Yep. I'm upgrading, and we are menacing it. Oh, yes. Okay. I guess you do it. What I was will... the outcome of that? Uh, it's three successes and four advantage, so it clears your critical injury uh, from your sheet. Yes, so I've, I've made nice. that adjustment for you on your sheet. So you I hope you have insurance. You no longer oh. feel hindered by what that is injury. insurance? <laughs> difficulty, or I get credits. No I'm kidding. Uh, difficulty for Dran. What is your difficulty, Dran, on your critical Two injury? Purple. Two purple for Dran. Yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> uh, like an okay. Ass you're a thick boy. And you can add one boost um, uh, if you're using the med pack that you guys. I think all of you have one from Spintier. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Tito, can you do me a favor and just hold this light right here? Make sure it's aimed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You hold this light you, 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 you go to ask Tizo that you, you notice that he's just sitting over like by himself, kind of meditating and doesn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pick up a pebble, pebble and throw it at head. All right, Tizo. Tizo. Uh, Ghosted. He, something bounces off of your forehead. <laughs> 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 yeah, he just cuts it out. No, no, no. Let, let, play that out. That sounds I'm... awesome. <laughs> I say to Dr. Dren, Dr. Dren, 
if you die from this surgery, it's Tizo's fault. <laughs> and I, I will haunt him, him as a force goes. Yeah, okay. Gresca <laughs> will hold the flashlight. All right, you can get another boost. Uh, another boost is Yeska's helping. Uh, there we go. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. We got a bad case. No. Oh no! What's oh, no. oh no! The shakes are flying everywhere. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dran. Uh, it's not working very well. Uh, oh, no. I got a vasectomy there, but you know. <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of the same situation well, from haunted. before. Like you you feel better, but the nagging injury is still there for some reason. It's that bedside yeah. manner. Uh, Nico's like giving it right back to you. <laughs> hey, we're able to get the the tissue connected back again, but let's just say you'll never have to worry about procreating anymore. <laughs> 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 Wait, don't the mountain call a man carry like sea and horse? Raven walks yeah. away. Raven <laughs> walks away at this. She's, <laughs> she's gone. No. <laughs> at that moment, yeah. At Nico's oh, comment, Raven walks away. Well. <laughs> you guys, this has been spectacular. I can't. Uh, I- I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh dear. <sighs> yeah, it's it's getting it's I'm sweating. I'm laughing so hard I'm sweating. Alright. <laughs> so after you're done uh with the, these medical checks, uh the, I would say probably about an hour, an hour and a half has passed. Um you guys start hearing things uh coming from well above you. Uh and the more you listen in, it, it gosh, it sounds like gunshots. And then you see this like low rumble of what sounds like a large crowd possibly screaming. It's well off in the distance, but you can hear it happening. Um, since I since I walked out of the warehouse, I'm going to ask one of the farm hands, whoever's around, if they know what's going on. Or if it's oh, normal, like what's, as, what's... as soon as you walk out of the warehouse and into like uh, you walking like out into the open open area, or are you walking if, into their yeah, uh, I just walked into their store because okay, Nico yeah. made that comment about procreation, and I was like, nope, and I walked <laughs> out. Yeah. Um, immediately we're shake. walking out. This like, is not the way. You you <laughs> you don't see uh, you don't see either of the the farmhands there uh, as you walk immediately out there. But you do notice mm-hmm. out uh, through the open door there is something laying in the courtyard, and the courtyard is now a lot more like cleared out than it was earlier. Like there's not as many people there, um, but there looks like to be a feathery pile like lying in the middle of like the open courtyard oh no one's around well there's people around it's just they it looks like people are scattering like people are running away um i'm going to start making my way over to the pile and um come lincoln that something's going on i'm not sure but there's looks like there's a body in the Oh, yeah, God. and Raven, you hear yeah. a couple more Jesus gunshots God, coming from well above you. Oh, and hear people screaming and shouting. Um, it looks like this individual has fallen from a place much higher. And as you look at them, they have a gunshot wound through their chest. Are they unarmed? They are. It looks like they're just a citizen. Dark seed needs to be gone. I'm going to look around for the nearest person. Okay, you find somebody just like panicking, running by you, grab him by the shoulder. What? What? You gotta get away! What's happening? What's happening? Were they? They were starting to. They were starting to deface the the pillar of ancients. They. We all stood in protest for them to stop. Gel Markov was getting them to to clear off. 
all the ancient uh, images of our ancestors and replace them with images of himself. He was making our own kind do it. So the, I think by this time, the rest you, of us have, have come out to join. Would do you, you know how many are there? Yes. I, I don't know. I, I ran and quickly away. I was on the edge of it. I didn't see as much of it. I was just scared for my life. Does this happen often? Not to this extent. This is one of the most extreme I've ever seen it. Why would anyone even want to face such a cultural element such as this? This, this is our history. This has been here for, for decades. You're right, it's important. Sacred. Go. We move Find no safety. Luck. He runs off immediately as soon as you let go of him. <laughs> you better get down there. Yeah, you're right. Are we going down or are we going up? We gotta the go down again. The disturbance seems to be happening above us, but the person that we're trying to find may be below us. I don't know what to do. I'd say where the where the attacking is happening is where we should go to first. Don't think That's that we have much time to save. It's, it's more strategic to approach this with locals who may know the the area and the situation and the. If if we go up there and they are shooting people, I will intervene. Agree. Just be aware of that. I think we're all on the same page on that, Tizo. Better with an army on our side. Problem is. What need we have army? We have us. We are army. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Uh, can I look around for one, um, Adriv? Uh, you look around uh, just in your immediate vicinity uh, outside here. Uh, you can't see him at all. Uh, is there buildings here? attached to the house aside from the warehouse? Like, are there any buildings that he? It looks like they own. Uh, not that they own. It's kind of like they probably own that one building, and the warehouse is kind of attached to the back of it. Mm. Can um, I look up into the tree, like? One, are there any ways other than that spiral ramp up? Oh, yeah. There's several ways. There's ladders along the sides. There are what looks to be kind of like rope-drawn elevators as well. And they look like is they there are... Any... And there, there is te some technology here. Like, it looks like there's, like, mechanical pulleys on these things. That they don't have to be, like, physically pulled up by another person. Like, they can actually be activated and raise up themselves. Is there anything I could grab a hold of and cut one side of? Absolutely, yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. All yeah, right. You see, like this large, Is, like elevator like, I'm, that I'm, looks I'm, like I'm it's used for like raising, like, a, like, like, like a, heavy. Like a, yeah, I'm imagining mm. like a platform that's got like ropes up yeah. to the top of it, and then there's like a counterweight rope to the side. Yes. There is. Okay. I just kind of look at Tizo, give him a nod, and say, How about this? Tizo and I go and check out what's happening about. Then, you three, you try to find this resistance leader and see if you can meet us there. I'm in! Because I cannot stand by while there is all this killing happening. But we also, you're right, we need to connect with the local people. We can do both. You think you can last until we can back you up? And I pull out my curve tilt uh, saber and flick it on. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm pretty sure. What do you say, Tizo? Um... Sounds like a plan to me. I'm going to All hand right. um, each... If they're going up, I hand each of them a stim pack. Okay, thank you. Ah, thanks very much. Stay alive. We'll be as fast as we can. Uh, as you guys are talking about this, you guys hear somebody running up towards you. And you look over and Tizo, you immediately recognize uh, Adriev coming up to you. What is that? What does he have? 
pointing to the lightsaber of Just don't worry about Yeska. it well, hopefully hopefully by tomorrow things will be getting better Listen, listen, you always, you guys gotta get up there. You gotta get up there now. I, I will yep. just nod to yes and say that I'm I'm ready. Cause I'm assuming, can this take us both up or? Honestly, if you all, like this thing is heavy enough. If you all like grab the spot, it would take you all up. Nice. Okay, okay. Well, I think it's just me and Yeska. So I'm gonna get on and wait for Yeska to. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Adrian, can you get us to the, to um, Pantherum? I can, I can, but it's gonna take us a while. How, how long is a while? Do you know how far these roots go? No, that's why I'm asking. I mean, look at the size of the tree. <laughs> the I mean, it's, ex day, it's extensive. It's going to take us a while to get to them. These people, Only someone had a jetpack. <laughs> these Sathari are going to keep dying if you don't do anything. Right, these are, let's this, go. This oppression has got I, to stop. I jump, I jump up on the, on the platform. Kind of give a little <laughs> salute to my 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 friends, and then I slash the 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 counterweight rope, and hopefully Tizo and I just. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Tizo and Tizo and Yeska kind of vanish uh, into the air as this thing is just pulling them up into the middle of this tree? Are they gonna die without us? They probably will. Um, <laughs> never say die and never say die. <laughs> All Adrian, we need. Do you have, do you have more men? We just need one of you to go down there. Which one's going with Adrian? You need to go now. I could do it unless, Nico, you think you'd be better, but I could do it. I think um, I should do it. Sorry, you I were with I think I should do it. I think I should do it. I'll, I'll, I'll go. You'll go down? You stay with the other people and kill who you need to kill. <laughs> <laughs> I have your blessing. Ah. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> May the force be with you. <laughs> and he just takes off up the stairs. <laughs> uh, Adriev kind of grabs Nico by the arm and says, uh, Come on, we're going go. to need to hurry. Can you keep Stay up? in contact. Yes, I have a better idea, and I'm going to see if I can take one of the little riders and see if we can ride down. <laughs> oh, he, uh, as he sees you looking over to the Tarvexes, he's like, "That's a great idea. It's a great <laughs> idea." And uh, you guys both sprint to the Tarvexes. He opens the gate, and you guys jump aboard the saddles of these Tarvexes. <laughs> And it's kind of like, imagine a, uh, a it's it's kind of like a horse slash possum slash raccoon type critter oh. that you're riding on the back of. Hell yeah. Uh, That's so metal. <laughs> it's, it's like a mixture of those, those things. And you just basically start reining this thing in and it takes off and you watch uh, Adria in front of you lead the way as this thing's across the ground and to this point that sort of leads under the ground and you follow uh, with with him. Uh, Dran, how are you getting up? Because Tizo and Yeska are already up there. I assume Raven will use her jetpack. Raven, this is awkward, but um, <laughs> is there any possible... I will... Yeah, I'm going to just <laughs> come on, Doctor, and <laughs> strong arm him. Okay. I would, I would like, uh, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I want both Yeska Screaming and... the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap! It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. I would like for, um, I'm going to ask for checks from all of you. Okay. okay. I would like, I want from Tizo and Yeska, I want an athletics check. As this rope is just like yanking you uh, up pretty quickly because the counterweight is pretty uh, substantial, and you're gonna have to make you're gonna have to make a check to hold on. Uh, is that if there's anything that can help you in that check, you, you feel free to use it. Uh, Raven, since you are trying to haul Dran up there with you, 
I'm going to have Dran uh, make an athletics check as he's like desperately trying to grip onto you as much as he possibly can. And you are going to make your planetary uh, check uh, with your to make to, to yeah. maintain control over your jetpack as I'm you're flying. I think for Nico, let's see what skills Jeez, does we he, got. Does, does the animal have a top speed? Uh, it does. Uh, Somewhere like between turtle and rabbit. And, <laughs> I would like to try and full throttle this animal, which I would make a hard floating <laughs> flick. And blast it even faster. Oh, no! <laughs> but, but since you're... But since you're so used to machines, you're like looking for a button. There's no button on this animal. <laughs> I am going to allow this. I am oh, going to God. allow it. Oh, it. Because that is brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it, Lip. Well done. Well done, Lip. Uh, so the difficulty for this, it's all going to be flat out average. So two purple dice for everybody. All right. Michael, I have a question. If instead of athletics, could, could I make this a coordination check? Like just trying to keep my balance instead? It's not really a balance <laughs> thing. It's a trying to hold okay. on to the rope as the rope is pulling up like super fast. Like you're trying to just hold on. To oh, it. so we're on the rope. I, I, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were on like a platform. I would say the platform probably has all the weight on it, and you cut the platform free, or you cut the rope free from the place okay. and you're, yeah, and and you're then using you went... it to pull you up. Yeah, that's gotcha. totally fair. Still awesome. <laughs> Still awesome. Well, it is awesome. Use... <laughs> I'm going to use my uh, enhance uh, force ability to help me with this check. Okay, sure can. So, yes. Can... I think you have to roll the force die first, I think is how that works. No, I, I, it's a part of the roll. Part of the roll. Because you got it's, it. depending on what I roll, I, they can add that as a success or a um, advantage. Excellent. So. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, here we go. And I have two force rating now, so I get this roll two. Ooh, uh -oh. look at uh -oh. this. Oh. All right. So, technically, so I got two, uh, I'm yeah. going to. So when you do that, and you you do, if you don't want to use the dark side one, you don't have to. If you yeah, I wasn't going it's a, to. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna use one yeah. to cancel out the threat, and then I can. And I need to make an advantage. athletics check. Uh, can I flip one of the the light side tokens? Yeah, of two? course you can. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Michael's like, yeah, give me more sure, dark side. Sure, yeah, yeah. Give him, hand them on over. So that's a boost for me. <laughs> yep. Well, it, it upgrades and it, so just make sure you click the upgrade one for your on your side. It's not a oh. boost; it's an upgrade for that. Got it. Upgrade. Is there a difficulty I need to? Two purple. Put on this. Two purple. right page raven for the record i'm not scared <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just I'm don't look down fun. doctor don't look down i said don't <laughs> <laughs> yes your oh, other God. down look up see my eyes go oh. every direction <laughs> 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 i uh i fail <laughs> fail as well Okay. Oh, Nico fell as, failed as well. Okay. Wait. Oh, so Raven. Does that mean we beat them up there? Uh... <laughs> you just see this blue alien just plummeting. Tizo. Um, Tizo. I, I used one of the force to cancel out the. I basically gave me myself two advantage, so it cancels out the threat. I will force, allow you, so. if you would like to do this, you don't have to, but I'm going to let it be your choice. So, Yeska is right above you and loses his grip. Okay. And it's beginning to fall. But you're channeling your force energy. You could use those two uh -huh. advantage to grab him, to prevent him from plummeting. Or. <laughs> or you could just let him fall. Your choice. <laughs> yeah. Well, I technically only have one advantage. 
because one of the advantages yeah. would cancel out the threat. That's fine. So I'll, I only have one advantage. I'll, I'll allow you to use it for it. Okay, sure. Then yes, I will grab. <laughs> I will grab my friend. That's a good thing because so if he would have fell, like he would have landed yeah. right on uh, Raven and Dran, <laughs> flying behind and underneath you. <laughs> I can't. Nice I'm funny. strong, but I don't think I'm that strong. <laughs> Uh, so Raven I mean, I could be. Who knows? Succeeds. Uh, what was Dran's check? A success. Yeah, so Dran, you're able two to hold successes. on. Raven, uh, you do have two yeah. advantages, Raven. So what could you use? What would you think you could use those advantages for? Anything in particular? Um, maybe as I'm going past uh, the two boys on the rope, I kind of give them an updraft, so it helps them maybe swing closer to the edge so if they do fall they're going to fall on an edge and not down perfect yeah you could do that absolutely i like that uh so yeska is because i don't want them to be a ball of feathers on the ground of the and, courtyard and so i want to <laughs> yeska did have an advantage there too so i would i would add that advantage to tezos to make sure that uh yeska doesn't fall uh <laughs> cool and uh so nico fails with two advantage as he's trying to push the limits of this Tarvex, and he's starting to realize, wait a minute, this is not a spaceship. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's no buttons. There's no switches. So now it, no it, throttle. it does not speed up, but how how can those two advantages be spent, uh, Nico, in your attempts? Wonder. I'm pretty sure he's trying to as much as he can, but if for any reason the animal in front of me that he is riding is not moving at a faster speed i want to try and get as close to the hiney of his animal and just kind of giddy up on the back of that one <laughs> <laughs> uh, every once in a while that one in the front starts to slow down and it's like, like head butts it <laughs> and kicks it into gear uh yeah absolutely as, as you're moving through what seems like kind of like almost an endless maze of tunnels uh, and it feels like you're just going down and roots after roots like seem to like open up and you'll watch him all of a sudden he'll turn and almost get out of out of view from you like split second it's kind of like boom he turns and then you have to turn and boom he turns again you have to turn and the the tunnels here are rather dark they're lit by some kind of torches and things like that so it's really hard to navigate but you're making your way through um, the other one the other group you guys end up landing on a platform you jump off and you land on a platform where all these people seem to be dissipating and screaming and shouting uh, you can see a few guards one of them actually is pulling up a slug thrower rifle and aiming across the way at what looks to be a citizen who's just running away what do you do so you say like we're, we're coming up or we're kind of like landing you came up and you landed and you're seeing this chaos you can already see a few uh what looks to be unconscious bodies laying around this large wooden platform you can see a pillar that rises up through the middle and it looks like it's carved with all these intricate designs of satharian people uh and and cultural symbols and all kinds of things and it looks like there's like these you know how uh, when people wash the windows uh, on buildings there's those like little what are they called the, <laughs> the scaffolding the, the scaffoldings that are pulled up there's a couple of those uh there and they're ready to go but no one's on them and it seems like there's a couple people being arrested down at the base and they have all these like carving tools laying around them like they were supposed to be carving this in and refused to do it and now are being arrested i want to quick draw my dueling blaster and shoot the slug thrower not the person but i want to try to shoot the gun out of his hand okay Okay. Yeah, how close is this individual? That uh, that individual yeah. is about a uh, short range away, so about thirty feet. Then I can do it. <laughs> yeah. I I'm just jumping towards them with my lightsaber drawn. Could I drop to attack them? What's what? Could I drop the doctor I beside them and fly thing. up? <laughs> how about since everybody wants to do something, let's go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> okay, yeah. so, and yeah. we'll just have everybody just go ahead and do something. Uh, Nico, do you want to do something? Nico, yeah. I also want you to roll initiative. <laughs> okay. Uh, because technically you're not in combat, but I'm still gonna have you make a few rolls. Okay. Okay. This cooler vision. Yeah, what are we rolling here? 
Um, I would say you guys are aware that something is not right, and by now you guys have been itching to uh, to get into a little bit of uh, True. hero uh, against these guards battle. So yes, True. I will say cool is probably the best bet for all of you. Okay. Hello, is the API down? Oh, I hope the API is not down. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I just tried to get two. Oh, yep. no. Hey, uh, let me. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Oh, 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 get my real dice. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Delayed. There they are. They're just my delayed. Oh, mistake, so I actually have yeah. one success, three advantage. Let me go ahead and I'm going to roll a couple initiatives here, too. Uh, I'm going to call this for them. It's going to be vigilance because they're not uh, thinking that anybody's going okay. to be there to challenge them. Uh, um, what on earth? <laughs> Whoa, who is that? Yes, Yes, Whoa. Situation under control. I think I forgot. Yes, uh, yes uh, uh, strong like bear. Strong. The triumph on initiative means you get a bonus maneuver on your first turn. Remember that. <laughs> okay, so these guys are going to roll. Uh, we got... Duh. And this individual is going to be well, back. And the then... good thing is that we will both start and end the initiative rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go ahead and put some My zero three should actually be a one three, by the way, Michael. Yours should be I a one three. Mistake, okay. Yeah, I can, accidentally can, had purple. Do you have control over uh, going over and changing it manually, the one that you rolled, or do I have to do it? No, it looks like I don't have access. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's uh, let's see if we got some combat music we can put on here. Uh, yeah, we got some. Let's do this one. Uh, which one doesn't does need to be changed? Uh, zero, zero three should be one three. Zero three should be one three. You got it. Yeah. Flip, is yours messed up too? Did you accidentally have no, your... mine's is right. It's just zero one. Okay, so let's uh, reorder these real quick, uh, and then break ties. Uh, any ties? None that would affect the order, I don't think. All right, so we got any PC can go first. You guys, so, gun. Yeah, I think you you had already called yeah, that you would take a shot. Here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you triumphed, so go for it. Thank you. It's just if anyone else have any that any better ideas. No. I, I'm just jumping in and attacking. Question also. though. No. Question though. Am I still holding Dran? No. When you landed, you kind of dropped him to the side. So he's, okay. he's just standing right Can I you. say that I dropped him and went up? Because I don't want to be on the ground. I just wanted to drop him you next to the boys. Me, sure. I'd say yeah. You're kind of okay. hovering like ten feet up. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Have at it. <laughs> okay, so I what will the difficulty be on on this shot? Uh, if it's short range, uh, are you taking a shot with your blaster pistol? Is that what it, what you're using? Yeah, my uh, yeah. my du my dueling pistol. Yep, it's going to be one purple because it's short range, and I am going to okay. spend a dark side point to upgrade your difficulty. So you can okay. upgrade on that. And that will so be... Oh, mine, and, uh, mine says it's accurate one. So that does that mean... You get one boost. I get, a, I get one boost with that. Yep. And because you're firing, uh, there's no uh, black dice for um, any uh, armor or anything. Okay. So that's one purple that's upgraded and a boost. Anything else? I think that's it. Unless you have something that would change it. I don't think so. Okay. Remember, I'm trying to shoot the gun out of this guy's hand. I'm not trying to shoot him necessarily. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, you miss. But uh, you do have two advantage that you can spend. As this hard. pistol shot goes. Mm. And you watch Yeska just pull out the, the, the pistol very quickly and just take a shot. I, I, I pretend like I was just shooting in the air. <laughs> <laughs> You know how, like, sometimes, like it's like a like a barroom brawl or something. There's always that one guy that goes, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this. Thank you. Thank you, Raven. Uh, so after I shoot, uh, I'll use my uh, maneuver to uh, my, I guess my bonus maneuver to to kind of cock and, and reload okay. uh, my blaster and kind of you know, now that I've got all these guards' attention, you know, I've got my blaster in one hand, a lightsaber in the other, kind of walk over to this guard and go, what's happening here? Uh, and as you as you say that, and as they are all, like, noticing you with the lightsaber now, you start to hear this strange whisper over the whole crowd around. And it's not just the guards, but you hear, like, the civilians around start to say, it can't be. A Jedi. And <laughs> they're all just kind of like staring at this moment uh, that's happened. Right. Uh, an NPC. The gnashing of teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, NPC gets to go. So that guard that you fired at, did you say you walked up to him? So you're engaged with him now? Yep. Okay. That guard is going to use its maneuver to switch its weapons from the rifle that it had in its hand. And it gets that Diro out. It's going to try to jab you with it, for with its action. Um, so. Oh, I forgot to say what I wanted to do with the advantage. Uh, can I oh, yeah. send a boost to the next PC? Yes, you can. So, I'll use one advantage to cover my mistake and one advantage to, <laughs> yes. uh, to, to boost somebody else. So, the next PC that goes will get a blue boost die. All right, so here comes an attack with a Diro. Um, this is going to be melee, so it's two purple difficulty. Do you have any, uh, it's melee, so I think I add a black for armor and a black for your lightsaber defense? Correct, because my lightsaber is ignited, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so two black, two purple. Anything else that I would need on that? I don't think so. All right, here comes the check. Okay. So, it succeeds... Uh, so that is going to be a total of, it's, uh, three plus brawn for these guys. So that's going to be five damage, soakable. Uh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, my sheet is being slow. Uh, I'm going to do my normal uh, thing and uh, as the duelist um, going to suffer some strain to reduce the damage. Okay. So, suffer three strain and reduce damage by two plus my ranks and parry, which are three, so that's five. So you parry it away from, uh, from you. Yeah, so I just... Uh, yeah, you just parry it away. <laughs> Uh, and those two threat are actually going to go to wounds for this guard. As you can see, this guard is fearful being in melee so range just, with you with that so lightsaber. So just block it right back at him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you can see there's like a there's like this black line across the Dero and some what looks like venom starts to run down the hollow tube uh, as you cut kind of through it a little bit. And you can tell there's fear in it. Oh, eyes. so I cut in. I cut into. You his, cut into uh, it. You left. didn't break it, but you, like you cut into it. All right. Uh, that brings us to another NPC, which basically the three guards that are back there, like arresting people, are considered a minion group. So they're going to all act the same. So what they're going to do is they're going to fire at Raven, who is hovering a little bit above. So they all just like pull out, they pull up their guns as their maneuver, and they're just gonna fire with their action. Uh, so that's uh, it's gonna be two this defense is rating, medium range. So I believe medium range is two purple, two black, Plus two black. Okay. Anything else? Nothing else. That's it. Okay, and they're gonna fire their slug thrower. Oh, they have. Uh, they don't have rifles. They have slug thrower pistols. I'm sorry. So here come some slug throwers. Now they all fire at once. And they miss you. As these fire... You, you, you hear the bullets, like, <laughs> through the air. 
uh, beside you. And you, I kind of do like you, you a do nice. turn with my jetpack. <laughs> yeah, steering out of the way. Nice. Very good. Uh, and that ends their turn, bringing us to a uh, second PC. Don't forget, the next PC that goes does get a boost from your friend. I would like to return fire if you're all, all okay with that. <laughs> fire right. away. So are you firing at the uh, minion group that's over there, like, arresting people? Yep. Okay. The it's one that just... Yep. In the crater. <laughs> These are medium range, so it would be two purple dice for your difficulty, range difficulty. All right. Um, I will take aim for my maneuver. Okay. And shoot. Boy. Oh boy. Ooh the lolly. Ooh the lolly. Let me let me check what their soak is really quick. <laughs> okay. It just goes through three heads. <laughs> Plug in Deadpool. So yes. You fire your blaster carbine and you one of them's kinda like standing on part of that um Part of that, uh, why does that word keep on leaving me today? Scaffolding. 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 One of them is standing on the scaffolding. You blast him off the scaffolding and he disappears off the side and just falls down, plummets. Uh, and one actually. Right. He's a bird. He's a bird. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he's not, his, his arms aren't <laughs> flapping. He's just going. <laughs> you see just feathers like trailing off of him as he's disappearing. <laughs> These turkeys right. can't fly. Uh, I'm going to take one strain to take defensive stance. Okay. So you take a defensive stance, and you do have that um, advantage also on your attack. Yes. Um, yeah, I'll just pass it forward. Pass it forward. Okay. Next person yep. gets a boost. Uh, and that brings us to another PC. Well, you I will not rushing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just going to uh, say, I'm, I'm curious to get how, how far I can get into this during the battle. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Can he, if like, you wanna... hear on the comms of just, like, <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Nico. Okay. I'll just take Nico, whatever it is and just go a little bit further. Nico, uh, the check that I want you to make is going to be relative to you just being able to keep this creature focused and following... Uh, at a good enough pace, at a good enough speed. So we need to find a skill that will work for that. Just one check, and I can use my force to calm this animal. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll allow it. Yeah, sounds great. Uh, so that it would be discipline versus discipline. So whatever this creature's discipline is. Okay, let me uh, check its discipline really quick. If I go to NPCs, Tarvix, uh, character sheet, its discipline is, <laughs> oh boy, discipline is based on, did we say it was willpower? Yeah, it's willpower. I think it is, yeah. Okay, uh, one purple die is your difficulty. Okay, now, am I doing something specific like coercion, charm, discipline, leadership, or negotiation? Because that will take over my discipline side. What what you think coercion would be good here? Are you coercing? Yeah, yeah. I'd say coercing the animal. Yeah, yeah, that makes real sense. Yeah, <laughs> kind of sweet coercing it a little bit. You know, it's, hey, hey, we need to go. Uh, you know, anyway, you can grab you behind the ear. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like here, I'll just be Come on, come on. Who's that's a good it. Boy. <laughs> that's right. Um, okay, yes. Oh, why did I agree to this? Coercion <laughs> is terrible. Um, okay. But then I have the force there as well. All right. Uh, coercion. <laughs> Yo. Uh, oh, you get a sweet. boost. Oh, yeah. And a boost. Yeah, Let me go, just yeah, roll you, a boost. You can roll too. a boost to see if it even boosts you even more. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. We so have got the advantage. juice today. I love it. Uh, two, so the those count as successes on coercion. So that's three success. Absolutely. You've calmed this animal down. It's focused. It you're starting to like you're 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 bonding with this Tarvix. 
<laughs> uh, and, it, and it reminds you of just being behind the wheel of the Phoenix. You know, it's like, it's starting to feel a little bit more like home. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use my three advantage to just literally lock in that bond by now naming this creature Phoenix. Phoenix, <laughs> the Tarvix now has a name. This, this Tarvix is Phoenix, folks. Well... Not even Phoenix Jr. <laughs> Phoenix, Phoenix Mark II. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you're confident as you're making your turns and moving on that, that this Tarvix is not going to get lost. It's going to keep up with that other Tarvix. You're going to follow uh, your companion here, uh, Adriev, and you are going to reach your destination. You have utmost confidence. Okay. Um, what, do you, what would you like to do with all those advantages? Who did I last talk to? I'm going to give one boost die to uh, Dr. Dran as I radio very quickly. Kill him if you have to. Um, <laughs> then yeah, I'll give true. another boost die to the next person. Okay. And uh, whoever, said it's okay. whoever that next person is, uh, it's another PC's turn. I think the only two people well, that I, haven't I gone are Tizo go. and Dran, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, right. How many people are within a short range of, like, enemies? Is there one that hasn't <laughs> acted yet? Uh, there is, but it looks like it's going to take two maneuvers to get to that one. It's uh, it's medium range from you. And this it's one, the, the, the one that you're eyeing up, looks it. like it may be kind of like a captain of a guard. Mm. Okay. Do any of them look like the one that Nico was eyeballing? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, only I would know. Only Nico would know, <laughs> yeah, he, so you have no idea. <laughs> what, uh, what's happening? Is, is there? Describe him to me. <laughs> that one, I will, uh, I will use a maneuver to put uh, to commit one of my force ratings. Okay. And use mark of death on him. A mark of death. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Love uh, it. <laughs> And I will, <laughs> I will use two strain to be able to move within short range of him. Sure, absolutely. Uh, and an incidental will uh, ignite my lightsaber, and I will use my my hawk bat swoop to attack him from this far <laughs> as I leap yes. towards him. <laughs> 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 ah, yes. That's probably the way of the hawk bat. Swinging uh, <laughs> his double bladed lightsaber above his head like a helicopter, coming down. Uh, I guess this would be too purple. Is the only difficulty here? Uh, but you know what? Hey, Tizo, I'm going uh -huh. to do oh, no. my job, and I'm going to use a dark side point. Uh, <laughs> okay. you, can, you can upgrade the difficulty in that check for me. Gotcha. But you also, you've also got a boost from from Nico as well. You oh, do. right, right, yep. right. And I also have a boost from... Because he uh -oh. hasn't acted yet. Yep. Yep, he so. hasn't acted yet. Alright, so here we go. Oh! oh. Okay. Oh. Mark of Death also makes it to where oh. I get two advantage. Oh. Guaranteed. <laughs> Whoa. Great. Um, so... Kind of you can crit a couple of times, can't you? Well, I will use the link uh, thing, so I attack him again if he's not already dead. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's eight unsoakable damage times two is 16 soakable damage, or unsoakable. And I will crit also. Uh, I don't know if that's going to matter. Actually, after the, after, the, extra. after the two slices, uh, you don't have to worry about spending any more advantage. Cool. Uh, you can use those for something else. Go ahead and describe I, how you hack this guy up. I actually think I have to make another attack for Link. No, you don't. Michael. Nope. Oh, uh, you don't? Nope. Link is an activated ability. And if you can activate yeah. it, it automatically oh, does double hit. hits. Okay. An additional hit. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Yep. Like, if you have... All right. yeah. uh, well, I jump straight like behind him and just put the the backside of my lightsaber through uh, his chest. Oh, he drops his slug thrower to the ground and he slides off of the lightsaber and just slams face beak first into the platform. 
Oh, that was so satisfying. <laughs> uh, First blood. With, the, with the five extra advantage, I mean, I'll give some. Okay, I'll give Doctor Dran another boost since he hasn't acted yet, and then I'll give the next person, and then I'll heal my two strain that I just used. Okay. So Dran gets a boost. There we go. And the next person who goes, which is going to be Dran anyway, so Dran will have yep. two boosts. <laughs> yeah. We'll have three because he got one from Nico also. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, he did. You guys are boosting up <laughs> Dran. Uh, well, three <laughs> boosts. The NPC that was going to act next is dead on the platform floor. Uh, so I'm going to delete that NPC. The other NPC is another guard that's standing along, uh, about a medium range away from you guys. Uh, is going to uh, pull out the slug thrower pistol as a maneuver and then fire at Tizo. Uh, so what, uh, that's going to be two purple for range. Any black dice on this for Tizo? Uh, no black dice, no. No, uh, no armor uh, or anything sure. that would, uh, defense rating or anything that would um, give them a uh, setback? Oh, wait, I think I have dodge actually. Hold on. Okay. I so upgrade five the these. What, what's your defense rating? You upgrade. I don't the have difficulty? a defense rating. I upgrade the difficulty, but I take a uh, strain for it. Is that what you're going to do? So, yeah. Okay. So I take one strain, upgrade the difficulty. Okay. Um, I promise I'm not picking on you. Uh, I just have uh -huh. all these sure. dark side <laughs> points, and we're running out of time, uh -huh. so I'm gonna use them. <laughs> so, yep. so I'm gotcha. gonna use yep. another dark side yep. to upgrade yep. the attack. Yep. That uh -huh. <laughs> so we're gonna upgrade that i think i got everything in and they're gonna take a shot with a slug thrower pistol oh wait hold on a second i did not do that right i will re-roll i had to change the minion group size here we go this is the actual roll and it's a nothing it's straight out wash Perfect. so it just zings over your head <laughs> as this bullet fires and uh that ends that npc bringing us to the doctor dr dran you know what? I, I want to change one quick thing. My ad advantage that I gave to Dr. Dran, instead of saying I give you permission to kill, okay. I will describe the enemy to Dr. Dran. Oh, oh. the one that he was... The, the, the guard? Dran, the guard, I, the guard that just missed Tizo fits the description exactly. <laughs> oh, there you go. I think I've got your guy. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm gonna pull out my black pistol. I'm actually gonna flick it to stun. I want to save him for Nico. Oh, um, <laughs> how terrible! Oh. I'm going to aim. I I'm think, gonna aim. I think stun. So I think stun. You have to be within short range on a stun weapon, right? I think you have to be within short on stun. Is that true? How far I, am I from him? Here, medium range. So you'd have to use a maneuver, one maneuver to get closer with stun setting. So you have to I'll suffer do, two strain. Actually, I'm I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm okay with that. Um, and then you know I have two. Uh, so Tizo's double helping me, and Nico's, uh, yeah. Nico's inspiring boost. me as well. And yeah. I'm also aiming. So I'm just gonna. And you know what? I'm also going to take a moment and try to make peace with the force, Ooh. so that it can guide my my shot. Okay. Is this a force ability you're trying to use? Oh, you're just gonna use a light side point. Yeah. Up. Oh, yeah. You got it. You got it. Okay. Um, the difficulty Ooh. on short range is one purple. And... Okay, and I have one because of my jank blaster. Yep. Are you gonna upgrade me? You yep. gonna upgrade me? I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold <laughs> it. I, there's no, there's no use. You got like eight boosts. <laughs> it's like, what's the point? <laughs> All right. <laughs> It, oh, man. It's not doing anything yet. I click the button. It's okay. thinking. There, I don't oh, know. Oh, you. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh wow. Christmas. Christmas. Oh, so that's 10 damage. And then some advantage. Uh, as, that's definitely a As crit. these blue, like, uh, circular beams, like, fire out the stun setting, boop, 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 it impacts this one in the chest, and you see he immediately goes unconscious, throwing his blaster pistol and lands onto the ground, unmoving, uh, stunned, and unconscious. And you have you're all, under arrest. You have all those advantages. Uh, you can, alive. You can you're use. Coming with me. Oh my gosh! Um, <laughs> you can heal your two strain that you just uh, got. That's a good idea. I'll use two of them to heal strain. That's a that's a brilliant idea. 
You know what? In this moment, Tizo would tell me to heal Strain. He's he's a <laughs> he's a meditator, you know. So I'll do that. I'm also I'm also gonna pass one to the next person, and then I'll spend two. Um, I guess I'll say that this distraction lets um, since Raven was so kind to carry me up here, I'll kind of like give her a distraction so she can really get a good aim on on whoever she's hitting next. Okay, perfect, Raven. You'll have a boost as well for extra aiming and distraction yeah. from. Your friend Dr. Dran, who you lugged all the way up here into the tree. <laughs> okay. I want to ask you guys something. Uh, are you guys okay with doing another round? Do you guys have enough yeah. time, or do you yeah. want to go ahead and call it here yeah. and resume this in two weeks? I'm good. Yeah. I'm always good. You don't ask me. I'm always good. Okay. I just want to make sure it's okay with everybody, or if there's somebody that needs to go. Um, yeah, if any of we them can... need to go. We're, we're good. We're, okay. No, I want to right. carve these turkeys. All right, you got it. <laughs> I got to get rid of one NPC slot because one's unconscious now and one's dead. So I got rid of two. Uh, Punch PC... out those turkeys in the neck. Yeah, <laughs> PC uh, can go right top of the order. Uh... I mean, I'll go if no one else I... wants to. I, I mean, always want you're, to. You're on a roll, Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Do your right. thing, Pizza. So, where is everybody compared to me, like distance-wise? Uh, the one uh, got just got stunned. There's two left. There's one short range away from you, and then there's the minion group that are medium range away from you, more towards the center of this platform. And okay. it looks like they're looking up towards mm -hmm. the hovering Raven, kind of getting their pistols ready to fire back up at her. Gotcha. Okay. Um. I will mark the group okay. for uh, Mark of Death. Okay. I will move forward uh, a step to get within short range. Okay. Which took two strain because I Mark of Death also takes move maneuver. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing. To Hawk the to the to swoop. the guys that are over by like trying to arrest. Okay, you got it. Uh, Difficulty is going to be two purple. Okay. I don't think I have, or no, wait, there is one boost for the next person, correct? Uh, are you in, are you, are you going up, or is, is this a melee attack against these guys? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me double check something. Well, you have a boost from me, right? Yeah. Oh, these, these guys do have one defense in melee, so it will be, if you're in melee with these guys, you will have one uh, setback on your I, Lightsabers get rid of uh, a defense. All defense? The breach, yeah. The breach. It gets one of one point of breach. Or breach gives one point of defense. So breach gets is, rid of one point of defense. Breach is for soak, I believe. It ignores ten soak with breach. It still has a defense uh, rating, but breach ignores. Oh, it's soak. armor. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's armor, not. Okay, I thought it was. Okay, yeah. My bad. Yeah, you got it. All right. So one black. You said. Yeah, I'm, I don't think it's gonna matter that much. <laughs> the one, the one little setback guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh um my oh. break out the mashed potatoes and i mean it. i didn't technically hit them i don't know what this yes, means a, a triumph is an automatic success oh okay perfect so uh, yes so i have five advantage technically because i gained three from oh, one from a hot back swoop and two from my mark of death so i'll let you describe this but i'm gonna go ahead and tell you that uh the way, the way crits work, which is what your triumph will probably do here, uh, on a minion group, a crit automatically kills one of the individuals, no matter what. Uh, okay. And you do enough damage with the other part, unsoakable damage, that it would kill the other one too. So go ahead and describe how you take both of them out. I I jump I just jump between them and like kind of duck down and just spin my lightsaber and hit them both like right on the neck. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness that is deadly that is epic so these two heads just go <laughs> onto the platform and then their bodies just rest beside them <laughs> that is insane uh, uh advantages so then i have five i have i'm gonna use three of them to get rid of strain uh and then i will give 
Um, the next two, I will use the other two to give to uh, Yeska. Okay. There is only one guard standing around. <laughs> uh, is it the one that I'm mixed up with? I think it is, yes. <laughs> um, I can't do good thing. That one no, is... I got an idea. I got an idea. <laughs> He's going to attempt to just attack you uh, with his Diro. Uh, so that's two purple... I believe two black. two black. Okay. I am also going to spend a dark side destiny point to upgrade the attack one. Because why not? I'm running out of time. You better. Uh, I better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm running out of time. <laughs> I'm running out of NPCs. <laughs> uh, so here comes the attack with the Dero. And it actually succeeds for exactly. Uh, that's his plus his bronze. So it does five damage once again. I'll I'll do the same thing and uh and deflect it and take some strain. Take, take zero, yeah. <laughs> and he takes yeah. another point of strain and he looks fearful and exhausted as he's trying to hit you with Stero. And he's starting to regret uh his choices for the day. <laughs> he's, he's rethinking his life choices. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his life choices for this my, very second. My parents wanted me to. My parents wanted me to be a guard. I, <laughs> I wanted to be a painter. <laughs> That's right. Uh, any any PC can go. Uh, I'll uh, go if, if, if no one else objects. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll allow it. She's she's aiming, but she's letting you see if you can finish it first. All right, um, so I've got my lightsaber that I've just deflected his poison staff again, but I've still got my loaded blaster in my other hand. I want to jam it up under his jaw and pull the trigger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, since you are shooting at point blank, uh, the difficulty yeah. actually goes up for that. Oh, okay. Unless because you have point all blank all as Unless you have a special ability like Raven is. does. Uh, so it's going to be two purple dice for your difficulty. And okay. smoke them if you got them because I have them. I'm going to spend a dark side point <laughs> to well, upgrade well, your... I sp well, you well, can. I want to spend a light side point. You can. So you can upgrade your ability once and upgrade oh. your difficulty once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... All right, let's run me through this pool because this pool's gotten really confusing all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. So you got two you purple, two purple for the difficulty. Uh, okay. The, it's upgraded one, uh, and that's it for the difficulty side. On your side, it would be upgraded one. And do you have any boosts? One, one blue from me, and then one blue, and then all you have to do is click on your blaster at the bottom, and it will roll all of them. Your, we your weapon. Do it to him. Oh, I've also got accurate one for my yep. blaster. Add, Does that add, count? An add another boost. Yep. It's another boost. Yep. Anytime you fire that weapon, you can add a blue boost because of accurate one. Wow. That's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. I think we did like, Even though I have to reload it every time, that's why I picked it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> Go ahead, and, oh. go ahead and describe it for us, uh, Yeska. It's like the way that the blaster is like positioned underneath like this bird thing's jaw. It's like Yeska pulls the trigger, and um, it's like this this thing isn't even noticing at first that the the blaster's gone off, but then like a small circle of smoke starts to drift up from the top of its feathers and then it just kind of goes <laughs> it flops down um and then excellent. i then i blow then i blow the smoke off of my blaster and then uh use my maneuver to cock and reload it perfect uh before we end the encounter nico you're rushing through <laughs> the tunnels all of a sudden as you guys are rounding a corner, some group of people are carrying this large, looks like wooden platform with a huge box on top of it. And they're walking across the hall. 
and you watch your the individual you're following, uh, Adriev, all of a sudden just ducks really quickly with the Tarvix and goes under it. I need you to make a coordination check for me. Oh, the classic oh, window God. game. <laughs> yes. Classic. Yes. Classic. yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the difficulty on this is going to be two uh, purple dice, and this I'm going Zelda riding a horse. And I'm going to use a dark side point to upgrade at once. Oh, so God. two Is purple. <laughs> oh yeah. You want me to? Uh, just spinning one because we have to spin ours to give it to him. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so upgrade. All right. And then it's a coordination. <laughs> coordination check. Yep. This is happening really quickly. Let's see if you can Gosh, duck okay, in time. Or jump oh! over. Oh! <laughs> no! Oh no! Oh boy. Well, he's not even in battle. He's gonna get beheaded. <laughs> okay, so Nico, here's what happens. Really you, <laughs> you, you duck your head, and your head like clips the bottom of this, no. and that hurts really bad. Uh, oh. you, you, because you only have one failure though, you only suffer one wound as you got like a cut on your forehead. Uh, but you also have an advantage. So you can describe in this situation, what that advantage, uh, would, would be. <laughs> oh, that is really complicated to do with this one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How, how have you getting a bump on your head be advantageous somehow? <laughs> would say this is the most ridiculous way of using this uh <laughs> i hit my head and after this long kind of setup for bonding with this phoenix it realizes that i got injured and it kind of ducks down for me for whatever next is coming and it preps for me <laughs> it is now looking out for me that's awesome awesome <laughs> And as you continue to run, you can hear like something slam to the ground and crash and break. <laughs> oh, no. oh god! And then you can hear people going ah <laughs> and then behind you in, in the hall. Yikes! <laughs> Sorry. And, and all of a sudden, the Tarvix in front of you skids to a halt, and the music just stops. Oh. And out of this darkness ahead of you, you see. A Satharian step forward into the light of a torch. And as you skid to a stop, holding your head from this little cut, this little wound that's like pouring down over your over your face, uh, the Satharian looks at uh, Adriev. There's kind of like a look of concern on his face, but also of confidence. And looks at, up at you, Nico, and says, Well, it appears it has begun. And that's where our credits roll for this evening. <laughs>